Okay, what I want to show you today is how you can use Blue Iris software to monitor and record through your cameras. And this Blue Iris works with, uh, I've tested it with all these cameras listed here to the right of the screen on my web page, which is internetcamerahelp.com. You can get more tutorials there. And uh, what you'll want to do is set your Blue Iris up as a web server from your home computer or your business computer and what you'll have to do is first if you click into tools here this tools button at the top you see my uh, icon cursor uh, if you click there you'll get this screen right here that pops up and you'll want to click next on web server and if you click that tab there you'll get a screen that pops up like this this is your web server uh, page here for Blue Iris. This is how you set it up. You'll want to click on the check mark here, which is already checked. Enable HTTP web server on port. I've set my port to 1050. You can set this to anything. Make sure it's not an overlapping port. One of your cameras might be set on 1050. Uh, that's a higher port for, uh, for me. My cameras are set lower than 1050. So that's what I set it for, 1050. Uh, next, you'll want to click on this uh, this root page. It's going to find this uh, Blue Iris Home Security www for World Wide Web because that's how you want to see it on your World Wide Web. And if you click this uh, button right here, you'll get this screen right here. If, I'm going to blow this up, and and here it is blown up and uh, I'm going to click this button here and when I click that button it's going to open up to browse for your folder for this Blue Iris Home Security which I had it named when I installed the product on my home computer and I want to come down to here to www and click on this folder it will be highlighted after I do that I'll click OK when I click OK then this will appear and you'll see it ends at www. So that's going to show your software, your Blue Iris monitor, over the World Wide Web. So you can see this anywhere, uh, say at your your office at work or whatever, and monitor your home. You can just log right in through uh, port 1050. Now this port 1050 has to be port forwarded, and that's in another tutorial. So make sure to watch that. And the next thing you want to do is make sure to uh, your router's IP address, find the address. If you click this button, it finds it and populates this automatically. And what I've done here is uh, check this and I find it regularly again every 60 minutes. Because this, uh, when you're with the IP provider, this address can change uh, on a daily basis. So I've got it to find it again every 60 minutes just to make sure I have continuous access to my Blue Iris software. And I've chosen ActiveX Codex MP42. There's another one you can pick if that doesn't work for you. And next you want to do click this authentication. Check mark this box. And I've entered my username and password which should match all of the cameras on your Blue Iris software. All of these cameras here should have the same password so that when you log in to this main console here it's going to log in each camera individually with the same password and populate this and show you all of the videos that are running so that's what we discovered here now say for instance uh, right here this uh, local area network access you have to set this IP if you can't find it it should find it itself but if you can't find it this IP address is say for instance 192.168.1.115 and then I would port it to 1050 if you can't find it for some reason or if it's not auto populated here what you will want to do I'm on Windows 7 operating system uh, on the other operating systems you'll want to click on there's a run thing here but what I'm going to do right here is I'm this is the run on Windows 7. I'm going to do CMD. 
and enter. It's going to give me the command prompt for my computer that I'm sitting at here, which Blue Iris is running on. Uh, and I would do IP config. And what it's going to tell me at the very top here is my IP address. IPv4 address, yours might just say IP address if you're running an earlier Windows operating system, which is 192.168.1.109. Now, uh, since I took this picture from my security camera computer, uh, this is not .109, it's 115, which is my security camera computer. But you'll want to find yours just exactly how I told you. And that's it. And you want to click OK after any changes, and it will keep it. It will keep the changes. Once you have the changes, you'll end up with your monitoring system like this. And now you can monitor your cameras uh, all over the place from anywhere in the world. And I hope this helps you. And I'll see you on the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.